former leader George Christie says, I don't miss going to prison, baby. Coming up. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's going to be a new video every Monday and Thursday. So put that on your calendars. So I'm going to make sure that I debut that stuff or it's going to be at 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, you got that? 8 a.m. Monday and Thursdays. Anyway, I seen this article over on Fox News. Now, for those that don't know George Christie, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. He's one of the biggest names that were in the scene for a long, long time. There is a big debate out there whether he was an informant and all that type of stuff. And what do I got to say about that? Well, it seems like, you know, for those that leave a club, all of a sudden they're bastardized. It's either they're a cop or they're a thief. They're no good. That's just like how bad. If you piss in the wind wrong nowadays, you're now out bad. Don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But in the debate, I don't believe he is. I, I, I really don't believe he is. I believe what happened was him and Sonny, they had this big falling out. And next thing you know, he's a jackass. That's just the way it works. Uh, go ahead and read Exile on Front Street. Good book. Good book. Check it out. It has a lot of his uh, side of the story into it. And yeah, since then he's been out. Uh, he did, I believe, what is it? Outlaw Chronicles or whatever. Hey, dude's making his money, man. He put in 40 years, 40 years into his club. And next thing you know, they go around bastardizing him. Not cool, man. Not cool. You'd be lucky to get a guy to stay five years now, more or less 40. I think it's like a rarity, man, when it comes to people staying in clubs that long anymore. But anyway, let's take uh, just a quick look at this. Just a quick look. Uh, again, this is from uh, Fox News. I don't know what's going on. You know, once in a while, this type of stuff will pop up. And different news media outlets, uh, you know, just throw it out there. Uh, but anyway, the title is Former Hells Angel Leader Reveals Why He Left Biker Club. Well, you know, we got to give them a kudos there at Fox News. They didn't say motorcycle gang or biker gang, okay? Give them kudos on that one. I don't miss going to prison. Yes, I don't miss going to prison. Now, here's a, a quote that they attribute to uh, George Christie. I walked into the outlaw motorcycle life because it was lie, live and let live society. The former club leader told Fox News Digital, a lot of things have changed. I walked into a meeting, told everybody what I was going to do. It was a very difficult decision. Now, if he was a rat, would he actually walk into a meeting and, you know, do it the right way? I don't think so. I said, we have to become the people we rebel against. And I'm walking away. Man, that is a, you know what, that's a stinger right there. I said we have become the people we rebel against. Now, that is something that is pretty interesting right there. Now, what does he mean about that? Well, <laughs> clubs become the people that they originally intended not to be. And you can go from patch policing, uh, telling people what's up. And a lot of, if you notice today, there are a lot of so-called pop-up clubs now. And, you, you know, a lot of us on the internet will bitch, moan, cry, whine about that. But if you step back, take a look at it and what is really going on, I think George Christie here nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. We become the people that we rebelled against. And you're seeing a lot of people rebelling, 
say against the tradition because it's become like a police state within the biker scene. So, of course, bikers being bikers, they're going to say, yeah, not happening no more. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. Uh, no matter how many people push the this is tradition crap. The problem is if you really do see it on the street, you do see this type of dictatorial type of crap. And it is kind of like if you can equate the bigger clubs being becoming law enforcement because that's what patch policing is. Oh, you're not supposed to do this. or You're not supposed to do that. And of course, you're going to have all the protocol channels out there scathing me for saying this. They are becoming law enforcement. Not in the sense they're trying to put somebody away, but in the sense they're trying to tell people what to do. And that's why you see a lot of rebellion going on right now with smaller clubs because, let's just put it this way, this generation is special. They don't want to be pushed around. But there's a but in there. Ain't that what they're supposed to do is rebel against authority? So I think George hit this right on the head, right on the dot when he said we're becoming the people that we're rebellion uh what is it uh we're walking away or he's walking away it's time for me to move on and then here's something that really hits home i thought foolishly that i would be able to walk away because of my position in the club and the 40 years i had given to them but the bottom line is you're either in or you're out now, it also goes on to talk about, uh, he has, I guess there's a new AE series, Secrets of the Hell's Angels, which a lot of people are going to come back, yeah, he's rad and he's rad. And well, you know, they kicked him on his ass and put all kinds of stuff out on him. So he's basically giving you the finger. Now, I doubt he's telling anybody anything that's going to get anybody arrested. Come on. Uh, let's see here. I guess he left in 2011. He said he became disillusioned by the club, which had transformed from a brotherhood, which, you know, MCs are all about. It's about brotherhood to an all-out war fighting every major outlaw bike club in the United States. Now, if you don't know who Christie was, he was one that tried to keep the peace between clubs. You got to give the guy that. Now, he goes on to say, I miss the camaraderie, the brotherhood. I miss the good times. I even miss the bad times, but I'm a realist. I don't live in a hypothetical world. It is what it is. I gave them 40 years of my life. I walked away when I thought it was appropriate time to do so. And I think I'm where I'm supposed to be in life right now. Then it goes into all the history, uh, who he was, he was a child of Greek immigrants, all that type of stuff. And this, is, I really do like this one. Uh, when we do right, nobody remembers. Uh, and when we do wrong, nobody forgets. Of course, of course. Now, here's another one, and he's dead on on this one. The federal government and law enforcement would like you to believe that the Hells Angels are a criminal organization. It's not. It's an organization with criminals in it, just like the Congress and Senate. Cannot have said it better right there. And I could go on and on with different people breaking laws, but as an organization... The Hells Angels are not a criminal organization. So he, yeah, there's that schluck right there, Jay Dobbins. And I guess she was an undercover agent too. Uh, anyway, he's a whole different story. And I guess, uh, let's see here. The first episode of Secrets of the Hells Angels uh, Detailed how undercover uh, agent Jay Dobbins infiltrated in Arizona, 
First, he said it was a common uh, to question who was a true brother. And this is something else right here. You always have doubts if you look at somebody and you can't really trace their history back far, very far. You have to ask yourself, is this guy involved with the FBI, the ATF? Uh, so, yeah, you clubs out there, something to ask yourself right there. And I guess they really started coming after Christie as soon as he gave up his membership. Uh, they were going to put the screws to him. And you're looking at a guy, and here's what really happened. Two years on house arrest, recovering from a double hip replacement. And he spent the following year in the Texas federal prison. Uh, and he does end everything that says, I don't miss going to prison with it. Uh, and he goes on to say, I'm not trying to glorify my life, but I'm go not going to apologize for it either. And I guess Secrets of the Hells Angels air Sundays at 10 on A&E. So I just wanted to uh, really go down that. And he did make a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of interesting points, man. Everybody who leaves is just tossed to the side. Now, this is another thing uh, that really hit me because sometimes that's true. It is really true sometimes. And the one about the rebellion stuff, now they're rebelling. Everybody's rebelling against the bigger clubs for what they do. Let me know in the comments section what you all think about this and again mondays and thursdays i know i haven't been doing some stuff for months but i had to find my footing i had to find out what i wanted to do and you're gonna find some really good content coming up anyway hit the like and subscribe rock on everybody yeah